Ooh, spider webs. Spider webs are amazing, intricate little pieces of art that a spider uses to catch its food. I see lines that come out from the middle and lines that go around in a circle. It's fun to watch a spider spin its web. Hello students, today we're gonna to use straight-ish lines to draw a spider web. Start with your name down in the corner, nice and neat. Then you're gonna decide where do you want your middle to be. It can be anywhere kind of around the middle of the paper and it doesn't have to be the exact middle. I'm gonna go kind of a little bit over up and to the side. Next, get a black crayon. I'm gonna use my finger to visualize a straight line and then draw it. Here I go again, finger's gonna show me how to aim and that's going to help me know that I can make a straight line just by getting my brain ready. Your finger can see the line first and then you're gonna draw it. So picture the line being drawn and then do it. And then decide, do you wanna do five or six? Don't do too many. When you're finished, it'll look like a bunch of triangles are pointing together. The next lines we're going to make go from one line to the next. Use your finger to show your brain where it's gonna go. Ooh, I did pretty well. You might overshoot, you might not make it, but picture your line going from one to the other and making stripes. If you picture it first, it'll be way easier for you to draw. Notice my stripes are not too skinny. They're bigger and fatter than even my fingers. On the next triangle, I'm gonna start where one line ends and try to do the same thing. When spiders are making their webs, it's like they're crawling on a path. So all of these lines will be connected. Straight lines are made by kind of going fast and letting your crayon or your pencil go right off the paper when it needs to. I have sped this up. I want you to take your time seeing your lines before you draw them, see them in your head, and know too that your spider web will look more real if it's not perfect. Cool, so after you get some little shapes in there, it's time to paint. And the other thing we're learning today is how to wash your brush in between colors. So get your brush a little bit wet in the water cup and you choose a color and you swirl the bristles of your brush, the little hairy parts, in that color to activate the color and get some of that color on the bristles. For black, it's hard to see it on my bristles, but for the other colors, you'll be able to see. I'm gonna carefully try and paint inside of that little shape. Sometimes you need to get more water and more paint on your brush to fill an entire shape. Sometimes you can go right to the next shape and fill it in because you have enough on your brush already. Now, I'm gonna change color. I bop my brush in the water, kind of letting it clean itself on the bottom of the cup and scrape. Bop and scrape. Then I get a new color. Notice now that I've gotten green, there's no black that is muddying up the green. The green gets to be bright and greeny because I washed my brush in between colors. I'm gently using the bristles to move paint and fill the spot. I'm not pressing really hard. And if it gets too dried out and things look scratchy, look at that scratchy, scratchy paint, I will get more water on my brush. Water helps your color look maybe lighter if you want. And it also helps you fill an area. Look at how I got a nice light green and filled up that whole big shape. All right, now I'm gonna wash my brush again. You get to watch it from the side. I pounce, bop, 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 the bristles in the bottom and then scrape. I will never splash or swirl and I will never hit the brush to get water off of it. Only bopping and then scraping. Also a handy dandy paper towel will help clean your brush too. If things get too watery, then you can always use your paper towel to dry a little bit 
Time to get a new color. And look, my colors are staying pretty clean. I can see yellow without it being brown. I can see orange. I'm gonna clean my brush now. Ooh, look, I decided to fix a little spot by touching a paper towel, which you can always do. But with watercolor, it won't always be perfect. Sometimes your colors will blend when you didn't mean for them to, and it actually looks really great. So today is just practicing straight lines, practicing cleaning our brush, as we enjoy and appreciate how a spider constructs its web with all of these lines that we are still learning to make. Every time I switch colors, I clean my brush in the water, bopping it and scraping it. And fast forward, and here I am finishing up all of the spots on my web. Have fun.